Trevor enjoys working at his new home in the Vicarage Orchard in Crosby. Edward and Applejack came to visit him whenever they could, but sometimes he felt he didn't have enough work to do. I sure like to keep busy like you and Applejack, but I'm not as young as I used to be, and I do also enjoy company, especially from children. Oh, I would give anything to see their happy faces. Cheer up, Sugarcube. You'll never know when somewhere on the island... You'll never know if some point or someone might need you for something. Applejack's got a point, Trevor. Anyway, we came to tell you that the tall man needs your help today at the new harbor yard at Osborne today. We're also going to take you to meet two of our friends, Thomas and Twilight. Oh yes! The harbor is always near the seaside, and that means lots of children. That's the best news I've heard in a while. <laughs> Thomas and Twyla were also heading for the Allsburg Harbor with a train load of metal pilings. They were needed to make their harbor yard walls firm and safe from flash floods and high tides. Hi, Thomas. Howdy, Twilight. Hey, Applejack. So, who's on that flatbed? Oh, that's Trevor. He's a new friend of ours. He's also a traction engine. The duo eyed the newcomer with wonder. A uh, what, what engine? engine? A traction engine, sillies. That means I'm a steam-powered tractor and that I run on roads instead of rails. Can you two take me to Islesboro, please? So Tom Hat has a job for me at the new harbor. Yes, of course, whatever you say. Hey, Thomas, have we seen him before? I'm not sure, Twilight, but he's an engine that looks to be a hard worker. Soon, Twilight and Applejack coupled Trevor's flatbed to Thomas's train, and soon the trio were ready to start their journey. I'm glad Sir Tom Hat needs my help. Besides, I don't have much work to do these days, but I can work anywhere, like in orchards, farms, scrapyards, even at harbors. But you don't run on rails like Thomas does. Don't worry, I'm a traction engine. I don't need rails to be useful. You and Thomas just wait and see what I can do. When they reached the harbor yard at Arlsberg, they found everything in a complete muddle. Freight cars were derailed, blocking the sidings, and stone slabs laid all around. 
Snap out of it. We'll get everything spread out. Sorry about that. Big messes like this can stress me out. Just like at my castle library back home. But anyway, we must get these piles organized. They're the top priority. Trevor, we need you to sort things out. Great. Just the kind of jobs I like. Just wait till you see me in action, you two. I'll show you what we traction engines can do. Trevor was as good as his word. He dragged the pilings clear with metal chains and towed them to where they are needed. Who needs rails when you can go anywhere you like? Later that afternoon, Thomas and Twilight brought Annie and Clarabelle to see him, and they were very impressed with his performance. Wow, Trevor really is amazing. He's worked as hard as you, Thomas. Yes, indeed, Twilight. Now I'm beginning to understand how useful traction engines can be. Their coaches were filled with happy children, which was Trevor's surprise. So he gave rides to them around the harbor yard and on the beach. This was his favorite part of the day. Annie and Clarabelle were very impressed with Trevor's performance. They thought he was very kind and generous, and they also whispered to each other that reminded them of Thomas. By the end of the day, everyone was sorry when Trevor had to go home, so Thomas and Twilight took him to Crosby. But after he was unloaded, Trevor began to feel glum. Thomas pretended not to notice, so he whistled happily to cheer him up. Don't worry, Trevor. Me and Twilight will come visit you whenever we can. Besides, the Vicar of Crosby will still look after you, and now there's plenty of work for you at the orchard. The farms can't harvest their crops on their own. Yes, that's true. It was a great pleasure to meet you, Trevor. But who knows? We may need you again at the Earlsboro Harbor again someday. Thanks, you guys. And when that day comes, that will be wonderful. Later that evening, Trevor stood remembering his new friends Thomas and Twilight, the Earlsburg Harbor, and best of all, the children. Then he went happily to sleep in a shed in the heart of his orchard. <laughs>